So Darwin, I thought it'd be really cool if I could interview you and just ask you to share some vision with the world. Uh, and you have some of the most uh, amazing success stories. Um, and you've also re recently been written about in the new soon to be top selling book in the field of business, The Power of Human Connection. I think you have a copy of it that you might want to hold up there, right? And then also you're featured in the new book, Real Life's Real Currency uh, as well. And I wrote about you in the new revised 10 year edition of Beach Money, Bet Beach Money, right? And so I'd like, I guess I'd like to start by asking you to tell the world, what do you see after three years? I know you get endless offers to join other companies and I'd like to ask you to maybe share with the world why send out hearts. Absolutely, it's uh, an honor and a privilege. And for those of you that don't know Jordan, I just have to brag about him for a little bit because he's been written about in over a hundred books and not just the book that I'm written in on page 89 in case you wanna read it, but he also came out with a new book called Better Than Beach Money. And this is a really great book for people that love to dream for just a minute, to, to dream about things that people don't even dream about that are so outside of our scope, but are just part of everyday life when uh, you learn how to dream again and learn how to go after those dreams and believe that they're possible. So get his books, get these books. They're great books. This is on its way to the top selling list. Anybody in business or anybody in life, it's not just business. Opportunities come through people. Um, I built my world back in the salon industry. I grew my network super, super huge because I understood the art of human connection. And as you'll read about in one of these books, where I learned it from was when I was a little girl when I used to read the Guinness Book of World's Record. And in the Guinness Book of World's Record, I read a story about the number one salesman. This guy, Joe Girard, was the number one salesman for year after year after year in the Guinness Book of World's Record. And the way he did it was through human connection. And he used to send handwritten thank you cards to his clients. And so I instilled that methodology into my salon world and went from zero to the top 100 fastest growing salons in the country over the course of 19 years with 16,000 clients. It was nothing to drop $500 every time you walked in our salon because I learned how to attract a higher social economic scale through kindness and gratitude. And so that methodology has always worked for me. But what happened is the internet was born and social media came. And when that happened, like most people, they switched and they transitioned to what was cheaper and faster. And so what happened is we took away the personal touch. And so I went along with that as well. I did it too for years and years and years. And so it, when somebody introduced me to send out cards, I, like a lot of people, didn't understand it. I said, I'm not interested. I don't do cards anymore. I've retired from the salon world. Uh-uh. And -uh. uh, that just, people don't do that anymore. People text and they post and they do all that kind of stuff. And so I went along with that. And so here's a little golden nugget and something that I want you to really grab. It wasn't until somebody tricked me into sending a card that it all clicked for me. And it wasn't when I sent that card, it was when my mother received the card and she called me in tears. And I had forgot I sent that card. I put some pictures of my daughter, which is her only granddaughter, and I am her only daughter. She's in her 80s, she doesn't live by me, she's not on social media, she doesn't have one of these to receive text messages of pictures on. It hit me like a brick that it brought her connected to our world. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I just for that reason, to be able to put us in front of, our, uh, of my mom and to let her see our life, am I gonna do this? I got on the phone, called the grandkids and said, you guys, they're all the way at college now. You guys gotta take a picture and send it to grandma. And that was where the whole journey started just for me to be a customer to use it for that reason right there. But what had happened was, is my brain started clicking and I started remembering things about my business world. And I remembered something that we always used to say. What if we could put a picture on our cards that we send to our customers? How cool would it be if they could see a before and after picture of what we did to their hair? And so we couldn't do it back then because technology hadn't reinvented this industry yet, okay? So I'm gonna split for just a second. This is a 15, getting ready to be 15 year old company, this company right here. I didn't hear about it till three years ago. You may just be hearing about it now. 
or maybe you heard about it years ago before they just did a recent $10 million renovation upgrade to make the impossible possible. I want you to grab that. The impossible is now possible. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay. This is what that would look like now. Now this, we didn't, we would not, we don't print it. This is made the same as a Facebook post and an Instagram and Snapchat post is made. You take a picture, you hit send, and it arrives in the mailbox because of technology. The same way we watch movies today and listen to music is we're still listening to the same songs and watching the same movies, but how it's delivered to us because of technology is what reinvented the industry, okay? So that would be the picture that does not end up in the trash. It ends up on their vanity mirror where they come in sooner to get their hair done. Their friends see how cute their hair looks. Their friend wants to know who their hairdresser is. And it's in my own handwriting with a message that turned me into their favorite new hairdresser and made me loyal to them. And yes, I can put my own branding on the back. Now this comes in a mailbox, you guys, a mailbox. When somebody opens this, I want you to imagine if this was you and you went to your mailbox and you opened that, it would immediately take this hairdresser from your head to your heart because it's a kindness. It's a random act of kindness. And so it, it was then at that minute that it started clicking in my brain and making me realize that, oh my gosh, everything I wished I had that was the impossible back then is now possible because it's about human connection, human connection. I want you to take business and set it aside. I want you to imagine that you're just someone who's going through hard times, that you're depressed, that you're sad, that you're, you're going through a divorce, maybe you're fighting cancer, maybe you're going bankrupt, maybe you're just going through recovery or rehab, you're just having a hard time. What is the missing ingredient in your life to raise your vibration, to bring you up into the state of being able to transform where you're at in your life? It's dopamine, it's love, it's the lack of. And I'm gonna show you the definition of dopamine, okay? This is my picture that I took with my phone and I posted it on Facebook for Mother's Day. The picture didn't make me cry. When I took it on my phone, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute, I have to post it on Facebook. Look, three generations, oh my gosh, this is my dream to come true, blah, blah, blah. Up went the post and it's gone, right? Forget all about it because social media wipes it away in a second. So we're out visiting my mom who doesn't live near us and I get home and I go to my mailbox and what's in my mail? A box in the mail from the guy who's interviewing me, Jordan Adler. He sent me this, it's the picture in a frame and I bawled my eyes out. I sat there and cried my eyes out. That's dopamine. Because it wasn't until I unexpectedly had it tangibly in my hands that I realized that my miracle of life, I'm not even gonna tell the story because I'll cry. Ah. Anyway, so what I did from that point is I immediately went on and I sent that same exact gift and card to my mother. And my mother called me crying in a few days. Oh, Tigger, I can't believe you. I have it sitting up, you know. And I, anyway, so that's how that works. That's dopamine. Now, now we're going to split again, okay? I want you to think about business. The definition of business that's, is something that requires an investment. I don't care what it is, whether it's a building or machinery or equipment or whatever something that requires an investment, and then a transaction between a customer to a product or a service for profit. I don't care if it's a car sale, if it's a haircut, if it's makeup, if it's painting your house, trimming your trees, cutting your grass, a therapy lesson, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It requires a transaction between a customer to a product or a service for profit. In the world of business, anybody that is highly successful, I don't care if you're a church, if you're a business, if you're an artist, if you're an author, like Jordan, whatever, if you're successful, you have a large network of what? People, what are they? They're customers, followers, fans, supporters, believers, okay? Whether you're a pastor, they're people that either tithe to you, they buy your product, they exchange money with you, they're connecting with you, they're sending you referrals, they're loving you, they're talking positively, not negatively behind your back. That is a network. And it doesn't matter what business you're in, you need a large group of people that like you, basically. That's what it shakes down to. Where did they come from? Stop and think about it. So now split again, in the world of marketing, we're so brainwashed today in this noisy world. It is such a noisy world out there on Facebook and YouTube and TV and Instagram and everything, teaching people how to sell, sell, sell. 
No one likes to be pitched or sold. When you go to the mailbox and you open the mail and you have all that junk mail, do you sit there and you go through it? Do you look at all those real estate things and real estate this and mortgage this and car this? Or do you get on the phone and you call a friend and ask for a referral? Or do you go on to Yelp and you Google and you look for somebody that you know has good reviews? But when you get a card in the mail where somebody says, I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you and I appreciate you. That is called attraction marketing, something that this type of world cannot do. And so I want to teach you just a few little ways of how that can work. And I want to show you examples. In Send Out Cards, we're the tool that everybody needs. I have, as well as you, Jordan, and everybody else in the Send Out Cards community, our customers exist of business people, salespeople, network marketers, direct sellers, all businesses, all companies. There's nobody that doesn't need people coming towards them versus you pushing them away. Are you being distractive with your advertising or are you being attractive with your marketing? There's a difference. You learn to attract with kindness, okay? Kindness is what attracts people towards you. Doors of opportunity will come opening up all over the place. You will have a reinvented circle of friends. You will have a higher level quality of type of relationships because these types of cards are a tool. They're a vehicle. They're a vehicle that carry you past the gatekeeper into the heart of the person that won't give you the time of day. And they deposit you not from their head, they deposit you into their heart if you're using it correctly. And so I do have a really great track record. Many people in Send Out Cards do. When you use the service the right way, your clients will be able to double and triple their businesses. They will be able to eliminate all other form of advertising and marketing that they're spending thousands of dollars a month on in the, in the, in the noisy world. Because what this type of methodology and this type of a service does in your life and in business is it attracts. It makes you, people want to draw towards you because people like nice people. Okay. So when you, when you're showing people that you care about them, they'll stick with you through thick and thin. I want to show you some ways to do three types of marketing. We do heartfelt marketing, which is attraction marketing. This is when you give a piece of your love and kindness to lift somebody's vibration so that you're depositing a piece of joy, love, and happiness into their world. And it's the same thing you would put on Facebook, but instead of putting it on Facebook where there's no tangible touch, you're, you're hitting send instead of post. And when it arrives in their mailbox, it's a completely different type of affection and love. It's that dopamine. Dopamine is, why, is what's missing. Once social media was born, it wiped it away, and that's why depression is such a high in our younger generation, because they don't have dopamine. Teach this to your children. I've taught this art to my daughter. She knows how to use it, and at, at 14 years old, she is growing her business already and creating this huge network of fans and followers because she sends cards and nobody sends cards at 14 years old practically anymore. Okay. When people go out to get a bid or an estimate and you're in one of those professions where you need three bids or three estimates, I, you, and everybody else goes out seeking the best deal. That's what we want. The best deal. What's the best price? I'm going to get three bids. I'm going to check it out. But here's what I can tell you. We all choose the one that makes us feel valued and important and appreciated and like we're going to be taken care of. Okay. And so when you start using this methodology to say to someone, thank you for the opportunity to bid your job. It was a pleasure to meet you. And no matter who you choose, thank you for picking us as one of your whatever. When you do that, you just jumped ahead of all your competitors and you got right into that person's heart. And what they're going to say is if this person's going to treat me this way before we're even doing business, how are they going to treat me through the transaction? We're choosing this guy because he's a class act and he's stellar. And then that's how you get people talking positively behind your back. When, you're, when your employees are being valued and appreciated, here's a really great one. I have a multimillionaire uh, friend that reached, not, not even a friend, an acquaintance. He reached out to me wanting pricing on our product and everything because he runs a huge print factory. And so he, um, 
uh, ended up saying, well, I can print it cheaper, whatever than that in my own thing. And I said, no problem. Thank you so much for reaching out. I went onto his Facebook and he's a deep sea fisherman and he was holding this humongous marlin. And I took that picture and I took his quote and his quote is something about like, when relationships matter at the end of the day, just make sure you make people smile. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I took his quote, I embedded it on the Marlin, put it on a card, sent him a two pack of brownies. And all I said is, I just wanted to say thank you again for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to do business with you in the future. Although things didn't work out, I just love this picture and I thought you would enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I think your quote is better than the picture. Hope these brownies end up in your belly and this picture ends up in a five by seven frame. Now, when he gets that card, which will be delivered tomorrow, and brownies because I just sent it, it's going to make him realize that I have something he doesn't have. And it's that human connection first. And that is where opportunity comes from. Um, right now is the time of year where if you want to have the best 2000, 2018 ending in your business and the biggest start ever in your 2019 proven 100% of the time with every single person and customer that we do this with all over the world, it doesn't matter, is start a campaign right now to give thanks to everybody that is responsible for where you're at in your life today. Whether it's a school teacher, your past customers, your employees, their family members, send them a card that says, we often take for granted things that deserve our gratitude the most. It's not only for my family, friends, and loved ones that I am thankful for. I am also thankful to my customers because you are the ones that provided for the opportunity that created my living. Thank you once again, and may you and your family have a happy and healthy holiday season. Now, this card is from a contractor. Nowhere in it does it say, we're offering a promotional special, we want your business, we'll take referrals. No, don't do that. You must stop selling. Start caring. Trust me. If people don't know what you do, they will figure out what you do quickly and they'll want to do business with you. Darla, this is just brilliant. It's such great, valuable training and education. I got one more question for you. Is, um, is there anybody that this doesn't work for? Yes. There's one type of person that this does not work for. And this is the hardest part to get into people's minds because they're so programmed a certain way by traditional advertising out there in the world. Okay. Cause people do what they repeat. They see stuff, they repeat it because they think, Oh, it must be working for them. And all these marketing companies have their statistics. Well, 8% of all of our things are open and da, 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 da. well, ours are a hundred percent, 100% success. <laughs> if you'll just listen to this for a minute, you must give to give, not give to gain. If you give or send a gift or a card, with the energy or expectation of that person doing something in return for you, you will fail. You will fail. Right. You must give to give. You don't want to send someone a birthday card and then say, oh, and I love referrals, because then they go, you just sent me this birthday card so you could tell me to send you referrals. Think about it. Be kind, draw the line, no pitching and selling, and you will create a tsunami of vibrational energy and opportunities and doors opening and falling at your footsteps. Even if you don't have a job or a business or a company and you don't even know what you want to do with your life, you want to reinvent your life, just start sending out kindness and gratitude and watch what happens as one of your kindness cards lands in a CEO's heart or lands in a corporate developer's heart who's looking for something to be released like that in his clients. And they call you and they say, are you open to do marketing? We would love this implemented into our company. You know, it happens all the time. Here, I want to leave you with one challenge. And this challenge is a 100% money back guarantee. You call me, I don't even care who you sign up with. Sign up with somebody else and you do this and it doesn't work. I'll give you your money back. And the reason why I have never had to give anybody's money back is because it's a 100% proven success. 30 yeah. days, get the $97 yeah. plan. For $97 a month, you can send unlimited heartfelt cards, unlimited, unlimited, as many as you want to send, including postage all over the world for $97. Wake up every day, find one reason to tell someone you love them, you're sorry, you appreciate them, you miss them, just thinking of them, you're praying for them, they're beautiful, they're encouraging, that they inspire you, 
that you just wanted to say hello, wanted to make you smile today, thought you needed some dopamine, you know, just find a reason one time a day, listen to this math, one time a day for 30 days is 30 cards for $97, including postage. Two cards a day is 60 cards, including postage for $97. Three cards a day is 90 cards, including postage for $97. I don't know how to do math very well. Those are the only three that I figured out, but you could do the rest. <laughs> but my point is this. If you will do that every morning when your feet hit the floor, it'll take you about five to 10 minutes, no longer than that. Watch what happens to yourself. Watch what happens to your vibrational energy, to your universal law of attraction, and watch what happens when those things land in mailboxes to the people that you sent them to. That's my challenge publicly right here. Just try it. Super powerful. Thank you so much, Darla. Thank you. I know everybody will appreciate what, what you shared with them today. And I know I do. So I'm very grateful that we're working together. To <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Thanks, All Jordan. Right. Well, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us. See ya.